I was doing a live stream recently and I got a ton of questions about wheels, which made me realize I should make this video because I have very strong opinions about this. I think that these wheels are the best value race wheels on the market right now. I'll run down the specs of these and then I'll go through the specs of several competitors across a few different categories and show you why I think these are the best. If you've got a suggestion of a wheel that is better and cheaper, I would love to hear it. These are the ICANN Aero 50 Carbon. I've been running ICANN wheels for a long time now. Actually, this is my third set. I got these to replace the ones that were on my bike when I had the crash at Sunny King, which are right here. This side of the rim got laid down that way and people were running over my bike. These are actually probably still safe to ride. There's a little bit of a scratch and chip. I don't know if you can really see it, but these are not actually even my second set. These are brand new. These are the ones they're replacing. And before both of those, I had this set of their more standard rim. These are not the arrows. These are a little bit narrower. They're not tubeless ready, but these were my primary race wheels for four seasons probably. I've got more than 10,000 miles on these. These were my go-to wheels for years on my road bike. Now they've been downgraded. You can see right now they're set up with some 35C Gravel Kings. These are the cheapest model that I can makes. If you're just looking for a training wheel, this might be the way to go, but they're narrower, they're a V-shaped profile, which is less aero, and they're not tubeless ready. So the question with direct-to-consumer Chinese carbon wheels is always about the longevity and the quality. And I can say from having one, two, three sets and several years on these wheels, the longevity is definitely there. And additionally, after having seen these wheels, a couple of my teammates on shift bought sets. They've all had good experiences. A guy I used to race against in the Huntsville weeknight crits, RIP, got a set of the FL 40s, which is a step down from the Aero. This video is also not sponsored by ICANN in any way. I've bought all of these retail price. If ICANN wanted to send me some stuff, I am super curious about all of the other things they sell. Their frames look cool. Uh, bar and stem combos. They've got it, got it all, but the wheels are really their flagship product. When I say I think these are the best deal on the market, the best value, I looked around and I can't find anyone who makes something that is cheaper and lighter and comparable features to this wheel. These are the ICANN Aero 50s. They're $655 on the ICANN website. You can get them on Amazon with shipping included for around 700 and something, depending on the day, 1,410 grams, and they're 25 millimeter wide. I went looking for something that could beat that on price, weight, and features. So I'm gonna compare it to a bunch of other rims that are all right around 50 millimeters deep, rim brake because this is rim brake but most of them also come in disc and tubeless ready out the box so the wind space hyper black 50 millimeter those are twelve hundred dollars so almost double the price and that's wind space which is another chinese value ish brand they are 1337 grams so 73 grams lighter but that's a really expensive 73 grams they're 26 millimeters wide so just a touch wider which is probably nice and they come with ceramic bearing so if you're obsessed with ceramic everything that might be the way to go but that's almost double the price just straight off the top and that's from another Chinese direct-to-consumer brand so then hunt is kind of a step between your like super premium brands and your direct from China so that's why I wanted to include them they're really good value but the hunt arrow 50 wide $899 so $900 1527 grams so about 117 grams heavier than the ICANN's but they are 27 millimeter wide so if you want to run like a 28 millimeter tire you're going to get that wider tire with a better aero profile on the hunt so that's the advantage to them and hunt is a little bit more reputable of a brand than these Chinese brands although I will say I've had great experience with ICANN uh, I had a shipping kerfuffle with the last set from UPS UPS kind of lost track of them emailed ICANN they got in touch with me immediately and got me another set sent straight out it is possible to buy a cheaper wheel than this and the cheapest wheel I could find that's something that's at least somewhat reputable is from Velo build which is where a lot of people 
will buy their bargain basement direct to consumer Chinese stuff. Oliver from Restart has a frame from those guys that has served him well, so I can at least vouch for them on some level. The Velo Build True U, which is supposed to be that U shaped profile, so it fits in this category. $369, but that's plus $137 of shipping. So it ends up being more like 500. And those are 1710 grams, so significantly heavier. And that's what you're getting. With these paying a little bit more, you're getting a higher quality carbon that's gonna be a little bit lighter. They're probably saving a little bit of weight on these hubs too. But if you wanted to do a super cheap build for like a crit bike so that you don't have to worry about it, you could get some of these, maybe even in like a 55, 60, 88 millimeter profile and not have to worry about the weight so much if you're just racing like flat four corner crits, that's not gonna matter a ton, but it'll you'll still get that aero benefit from having the carbon deep wheels. That brings me to the high level premium brand. So I'm gonna start with Zip. The Zip Firecrest 404, their newest version, is supposed to be their sort of bargain wheel. I think they see all the companies like this kind of nipping at their heels and they wanted something in that same sort of price point and category. With that said, the Zip 404 Firecrests are $1,200. So pretty much the same price as the Windspace, but still almost double what a set of these is gonna cost you. Now those are 58 millimeter deep, so a little deeper than this and 27 wide, so a little wider than this as well. And they come in at 1,621 grams. So that extra depth and extra width, probably a bit more aero. They're also dimpled, which is supposed to make some kind of a difference uh, in terms of like shearing the airflow off the side of the wheel. But those are 200 and some odd grams heavier than the ICANs for double the money. So, you know, you got to kind of balance your aero with your name brand with your weight. And Zip is going to be a more serviceable product. Like you can take a set of zips to your local shop and they can get replacement bearings. Uh, they're gonna have a better warranty on them. Final comparison I wanna make is the super premium DT Swiss Arc 1100 die cut 48. Now these are 48 millimeters, so two millimeters shallower than everything else we're comparing to, but 25 millimeter wide outer, so just like uh, just like the ICANs. These DT Swiss are $3,240. So you could get several sets of these for the cost of one set of DT Swiss. Now DT Swiss are gonna be made with DT Swiss hubs, which are kind of the industry standard. Best hubs out there, great engagement, but you're really paying a premium for those. And the DT Swiss come in at 1,535 grams as compared again to the 1,410 of these ICANs. So with all that in mind, I don't think there is a better value wheel on the market than these guys. If somebody has an idea of what they think that would be, feel free to drop it on me. If anybody has questions about the ICANs, I would be happy to answer them. Again, these are the Aero 50s, but ICANN makes an entire range. They make Alpha, which is a little bit heavier and a little bit cheaper. And the FL40 kind of fits between these two. And then they still make this original V-shape profile, which I don't know. I wouldn't recommend these because they're not tubeless ready and I feel like almost everyone's gonna want tubeless and gonna want that wider profile. We're all thankfully running wider tires now. Anyway, I'm gonna get these set up, get these on my bike and go for a ride.